Number 41. If f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 8, and g of x is equal to the absolute value of 7 minus x plus 3, then what is the value of g of f of 3? So what we need to do here is we need to evaluate a composite function. We have a function inside of another function. So first, let's calculate the value of the stuff inside, f of 3. So we just got to plug in 3 into that expression. So it's going to be 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 8. 3 squared is 9. 3 times 3 is also 9. Now, 9 minus 8 is 1. So we have 9 plus 1, which is 10. Thus, f of 3 is equal to 10. So going back to that expression, we have g of f of 3. Now, because f of 3 is equal to 10, we can replace it with 10. So now what we need to do is evaluate g when x is 10. So this is going to be the absolute value of 7 minus 10 plus 3. Now, 7 minus 10 is negative 3. The absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. So this becomes 3 plus 3, which is 6. And so we could say that g of f of 3 is 6. So c is the right answer. 42. If f of 3 is negative 7, and g of 7 is 6, and f of negative 7 is negative 4, and g of negative 4 is 5, then what is the value of g of f of f of 3? So let's start by writing this function. So first, let's evaluate f of 3. We're told that f of 3 is negative 7. So let's replace what we have here with negative 7. So this becomes g of f of negative 7. Now, we know that f of negative 7 is negative 4. So this becomes g of negative 4. And we can see that g of negative 4 is 5. And so this right here is the answer. So as you can see, it's not very difficult to evaluate a composite function, even if we have three functions involved. But b is the correct answer for this problem. 43. Using the table shown below, what is the value of g of f of negative 2? So go ahead and try this problem. As always, we're going to start with the part on the inside. So what is f of negative 2? So using a table, we need to use the second column, which deals with f of x. And we need to highlight the row where x is negative 2. So we can see that f of negative 2 is going to be this value, 4. So g of f of negative 2 is equivalent to g of 4 since f of negative 2 is equal to 4. Now, what is g of 4? So using the last column and the row where x is 4, we see that g of 4 is 7. So this is the final answer for this problem. Answer choice E is the correct answer. 44. If f of x is equal to x squared plus 5 and g of x is 2x minus 3, then which of the following expressions is equivalent to f of g of x? To find f of g of x, what we need to do is take g and insert it into f. So f of x is x squared plus 5. To write an expression of f of g of x, we can replace g of x with what it's equal to. So g of x is 2x minus 3. So everywhere we see an x, we're going to replace it with 2x minus 3. So this would be x squared plus 5. But instead of having x, we're going to have 2x minus 3 
inside it. So notice that it's squared, which means that we have two of them multiplied to each other. So let's multiply these two binomials. 2x times 2x is going to be 4x squared. And then we have 2x times negative 3, which is the same as negative 3 times 2x. And then negative 3 times negative 3, that's plus 9. Now we can combine these two terms. That's going to be negative 12x. And 9 plus 5 is 14. So the answer is 4x squared minus 12x plus 14, which is answer choice B.